All right, so we have another video on YouTube. Uh, if you can't tell, I haven't been posting on here in a minute, and that's really because the uh, reviewing anime format, some of the things I do are better put onto podcast form. So I'll put my podcast link in the uh, description if you want to you know, follow what I'm doing. Anyway, Dragon Ball Super Chapter 61. Uh, first thing I wanted to remark, I'm not sure if I actually got it within the video. I don't believe I did. But uh, this is the first chapter to not be released on the eight, uh, the 20th in about, I think, seven months, uh, give or take. I know uh, spoilers were happening on the timeline of two days ago. Uh, if, if This is a channel called Dragon Ball Hype, which um, intentionally leaks spoilers ahead of time, like with no warning or anything like that, which is pretty pretty stupid in my opinion but you know whatever um really being a dickhead move in my opinion but anyway um so i guess this claim just just came early i don't know if v-jump came early and that's why this came early or what but anyway live reaction this is my first time reading it so we could we start off from where we came off with vegeta comes in saves the day appears to be far stronger than he was um in Super Saiyan Blue form, or far stronger than Goku as well, Super Saiyan Blue form. And everybody is remarking that. Uh, damn it, it really had any effect. What the heck, you super strict. <laughs> but he clearly can't deliver. Yo, 18 hates Vegeta, bro. You're still not able to continue with me. Okay, so whatever this movement is, it made Moro think, what the hell? <laughs> okay, still more probably low, well, we can't change. <laughs> Submit Vegeta. So, uh, from what I gather so far, it's not a, it's the powers and transformation. I did see little snippets on the timeline because of Dragon Ball hype, uh, where it does not appear that he transforms at any point in this chapter. Uh, so, I am prepared for that. Whatever his power is, it's clearly just a, a new ability. It's not a transformation. Um, okay. Maybe you can accept Luigi's going berserk. I doubt he's going to be using one of his strength up in Office Vegeta. So, this. Unrepentant fighting is is part of his strategy. His movement is, I would say, UI like. Honestly, um, just my thought. Vegeta snickers as he uh, dodges the it appears. Uh, his movement is just. It looks like he gets stronger due to fighting. If if that's my guess. Like taking abuse. And damage and all that makes him stronger. It's just my my uh and Goku seems to know what he whatever this is already. So it's definitely uh maybe something that he looked at when he was on Yard Rat. Uh okay. Is he siphoning power from Moro? Is that what I'm gathering? Four spirit fishing. Okay, so it's definitely something that Goku also knows of. Okay, it appears that he's gathering energy. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, this is pretty fucking cool. And it's not getting stronger; it's like it's more getting weaker. It's energy coming up, it's like a spirit bomb. He's kicking the energy out of. Holy shit! Mm. Wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. So he's returned the power of those who were stolen from. Wow. Things are combined. It tears apart things that are combined through fusion or absorption. So this would like, so this would this would murder um, Vegeta. I guess Vegeta has it, but this would kill Vegeta. It would. Not kill, but it would mess up Vegito, it'd mess up Gogeta, it'd mess up Omega Shinron, I guess. It'd mess up Boo. So, I, I guess the reason that Goku wasn't allowed to have this power is because this would have just absolutely dead at Boo from the jump. This would have absolutely invalidated the whole Boo saga. Okay, I get it. <laughs> he could use it on Piccolo and, and uh, mess up Piccolo too, I, I, I assume. He could fuck up Cell. So, basically, this power right here would have invalidated. The last two sagas in Dragon Ball, and it would have 
invalidated like most of GT. That's what I get. Okay, I see it. So, <laughs> so Toriyama, Toriyama is a funny guy. Uh, Toya Toro, you know, they, I guess they, they, they do converse with Toriyama, so he had to give the okay on this, I guess, being a thing. Okay, that's that's interesting. Uh, all right. Life energy, those, he's killed. I could distract this. He even said it. I could even distract those other Namekians. Oh, my God, he said it. Jesus. Oh my god. Victory is mine this time, Kakarot. Wow, he even said the next page after I said all that shit. That's crazy. This completely, like, I don't know. I, I assume that Moro is going to, like, have some kind of comeback to this. But I don't know how exactly. Absorption, fusion, all that stuff doesn't reflect one's inherent power. I don't, I mean, this would, this would, like, legit invalidate most, Kefla, this would have fucked up Kefla, this would have messed up literally the entire timeline of Dragon Ball, o almost all of Dragon Ball would have been invalidated by this being a power just a little bit earlier, why don't you start relying on strength stolen from others and simply fight with your own power, also this is very reminiscent of his, um, speech against Goku Black. I'm not I don't remember if this was in a manga, his whole tirade against Goku Black when he comes back the third time to the uh, future. But I know in the in the anime this is definitely very similar to what he says to Goku Black. Just without saying Kakarot. But yeah moral he is he's getting cooked. So what I believe is that Vegeta's gonna not kill your um more when he gets a chance to, very similar to Goku, uh, the Golden Freezer. I think he's just not going to kill him when he has the opportunity to do so. I mean, he could do it right now. He could like, just, Big Bang attack, boom, Moro's dead. He could do that right now if he wanted to. New Namek, so it's going to bring back the Namekians, okay, of course. Earth, uh, Eska, I think a number of them makes it come back to life, but now another one more kill himself with the one that's dying there. He got sucked away. Everybody was going to take it and keep it from life. So, like, the, like the, only, the only people are going to see us survive because this is it's in the Mekians. All right, cool. This dude was getting this shit kicked in. Like, couldn't Vegeta just, like, use, like, a grand attack and just blow up Moro and, like, get all the life energy back? Are you forgotten from once upon a time you showed up the Earth and how would he's fine to protect this planet and what the next one he's trying to tell us? Yo, this is crazy. This like whole saga has become like a this is what a lot of people were hoping out of um out of the Kaba moment in the uh, universe for the universe seven, the um Goku Black moment in uh the Goku Black art. This redemption saga is what people have been hoping for Vegeta. For like literally every saga, the uh, the Beerus fight where he tries to protect Bulma. This is what people have wanted since the jump. So shout out to uh, Dragon Ball's team for finally giving it us this. And we we saw that it was kind of like, you know, hinted at um, earlier in this very saga. I mean, a lot of the things that Piccolo was saying were things that was referenced in earlier parts of this saga. This is deep. This is a deep chapter. <laughs> Who me? I just want to fight the strongest guys out there. This is a hell of a chapter. And Piccolo is like, Piccolo is taking like the back so much in in, in, in this uh, series. But whenever like Piccolo speaks, it's usually very important. He's kind of like the, he's kind of like the um, the narrator device at this point. You know, he kind of conveys what the narrator wants you to to know. <laughs> I'm no name. I'm no name fool. No naive fool like Kakarot. You ever break? Ever break out of prison once you're in hell? So you believe you aren't going to hell? Okay. Well, naturally, I'm bound for hell. At the end of the day, I'm a villain. I've been prepared for the consequences for quite some time. But first, wait for me down there. Once I'm dead, I'll pop by to stay say hello. What the fuck was I? Don't think you're going to hell. Way too busy ruling over the galaxy for all eternity. 
It's only a nonsensical battle and are you basically gonna scrap her with after my magic? What's he about to do? Is he gonna take it straight from the planet? Wait, okay, so he jump he teleports up in the sky. That's cool. It's cool what he does with the eyes there. It's pretty cool. Uh, Mora just vanished up there. Vegeta goes in the sky. Okay, Vegeta goes up here with them. Did he just take his energy? Oh, I forgot he had he gave his power to um what's his name? Sixty nine or some shit. It was called sixty nine. He murdered that dude. Like literally fucking <laughs> turned it into a crisp. <laughs> Yo, he used Ryu and Jocko, this dude, bro. He burnt them motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so backup plan. All right. So he ate. Oh, my God. What the hell? Yo, he literally ate this dude, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> no, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, the Vore fans are going to get one out of this one. <laughs> They're going to love this chapter, bro. <laughs> Seven three. Oh my god, he fucked Vegeta up. Oh no, God, he's stronger than he was before. What the? Oh my god. So like all the powers that seven three has as well are within Moro. Oh my, <laughs> that's not good. A complete backup with Venom. Golly, bro, that's crazy. So I seven three has the power to copy all those different, you know, in, entities. So like the teleportation shit, I think he still had a copy of that. I don't think he can keep three, but I'm guessing that somewhere within his memory bank, maybe it can store the ones he used to have. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yo, that's. Is that a perfect chapter? Is that 10 out of 10 chapter? That might be a 10 out of 10 chapter, bro. That I, <laughs> That's pretty damn good in my opinion. I don't think you can get much better than that. Um, so, I mean, just starting from, like, I guess, you know, piece by piece. So the Vegeta part, I thought that was perfectly executed. I thought that he did that. Uh, Tony Tony did that as about as good as you could possibly do it. Uh, the redemption part of that, that's kind of talked through a uh, conversation with Goku and Piccolo. Fantastic. More getting the shit kicked in, but still having a believable and reasonable way of re um, obtaining power. Again, very feasible. Uh, not not any ass pulls, I see. No, no ass pulls in the whole chapter. Um, now, my question is, what did, what did Moro do to where Vegeta just couldn't fight him again and just take his power back i don't know but um it definitely appears that he may have just went on there and just kicked the fuck out of it <laughs> like he might just knock Vegeta's ass out is what just appeared to happen uh <laughs> i mean that's crazy bro that's a hell of a panel bro i mean this, this I, I didn't see this coming this is like what cell and uh and 18 reminiscent, well, 17 and 18. Wow. Wow. That is. Ugh. I don't know. I really don't know how to put it. That's just. Uh, hey. <laughs> I heard Boruto manga is cooking right now. Um, let me see what, other they got, what else they got here. They got Boruto. I heard that's cooking. Uh, My Hero Academia, I heard that's cooking. Demon Slayer, one of the, you know, the the One Piece um, King, the One Piece Slayer, so to speak. No pun intended. Viz Media is cooking right now. I mean, on all fronts. I mean, I hope y'all enjoy it. I'm, I'm honestly kind of taking it back. That was, that's like one of the best Dragon Ball chapters I've read since I've been following Dragon Ball. I've been reading since... The anime ended, and wow. All right, I'll leave my podcast in the bio. 
uh, description, whatever, if you want to check that out. And uh, more likely, a lot of my other anime-related readings, Attack on Titan, um, Jolian, etc., etc., probably be on there. But, you know, we'll see. If it's something this hype, maybe I'll come back on here. All right, peace.